Penang is a state in Malaysia with years of multicultural migration, making it one of the best areas in Malaysia for a diverse culinary experience. Most of these restaurants are located near the heart of Georgetown. I'll leave links in the description to the locations. And if you're looking for a place to stay, I recommend the area near Chulia Street and Love Lane for a central walkable part of town. You'll find a bunch of great food vendors here at Chulia Night Market. Hong Ki is known for their roasted pork and their dumpling soups. For a variety of both soup noodles and dry noodles, check out Yeep Noodles. This Yeep Noodle Soup costs 7 ringgit, which is less than 2 US dollars. It comes with fish balls, a clear broth, some Chinese broccoli, and some minced pork. This was one of my favorite dishes because it's so simple and cheap. Here's a similar stir-fried version of the same dish. Capitan is a popular place for tandoori chicken. Penang famous chendol is a must try dessert when you're in Penang. It's made with rice flour jelly, coconut milk, and palm sugar syrup. In this same alleyway, you'll find charquay tao vendors and also oyster omelet vendors. Here you can see them preparing my oyster omelet to go. And here's the oyster omelet with some added hot sauce. As you can see, there's a lot of oysters in here. And they mix egg in and they stir fry it all up and it's very delicious. The Red Garden Food Paradise is a great place to grab a beer and eat at one of the many vendors they have. And on some nights they even have karaoke. Here's the grilled mackerel and prawn I got from a Japanese vendor, which is quite delicious. This is the Assam Laksa from Laksa Kitchen. Since the filming of this, Laksa Kitchen has permanently closed and I wasn't able to try the Assam Laksa at the more popular Air Item Laksa. So you should give that one a try. The beef noodles at Lo Beef noodle was another one of my favorite dishes in Penang. This soup is served with beef balls, slices of beef, rice noodles, bean sprouts, and either fried garlic or fried shallots and beef tripe. This dish was so good I came back multiple times while I was in Penang.
This is one of those days where I wanted to try a little bit of everything. So I got some greens, I got a mutton curry, and a fried chicken breast curry, I believe that's what that is, as well as a potato and carrot type soup, and some Brianna, which was way more food that I could handle. I got here right after they opened, and as you can see, this place has a lot of different types of dishes that are all look very delicious, so it's hard not to order a lot here. Um, if you get here during lunchtime, it will be super busy, so I recommend getting here a little before the rush crowd. There are plenty of dim sum restaurants to try in Penang. One in particular I recommend is called Tai Tong. I forgot what the first dumplings were, but here's the shumai and the hargao. Here's a dry chili pan mi dish from Ama Pan Mi. A great dish, but I do favor the one I had in Kuala Lumpur in the Chow Kit district better. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. It really means a lot to this channel. Thank you very much.